Hello everyone, my name is Nikhil Mukha. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will discuss the process of suspension or cancellation of registration certificate by IRDAI. The Indian company willing to start the operation of the insurance activities shall need to obtain the certificate or registration from the IRDAI. The company has to file the form IRDAI R2 with the authority who will after examining the application of the applicant and the other information will issue the certificate of registration in the form IRDAI R3. However, the said certificate of registration can come under the scrutiny of the authority. The authority may suspend or cancel the certificate of registration of the insurance company if the required requirements are not met by it. The suspension or cancellation will lead the company to cease any new insurance business. Now we will discuss what are the reasons for suspension or cancellation of registration certificate. Under the new regulation of IRDAI on registration of Indian insurance companies, the authority can suspend or cancel the IRDAI R3 certificate which is called the certificate of registration provided to the insurer. The suspension or cancellation of registration certificate can be for a class or class of insurance business for a required period as specified under the order. The registration certificate may be suspended or cancelled due to following reasons. The insurer fails to comply with the provisions of the Insurance Act 1938 and Section 64V and 64VA of the Act. The insurer becomes insolvent or is under liquidation. The business of the insurer is transferred to any other person or amalgamated with the business of any other insurer without the authority's approval. There is a default in complying with the provision or any requirement of the Act, rules, regulations, direction or order. The conduct of the business if insurer is prejudicial to the interest of the policyholders. The insurer fails to furnish any information to the authority. The insurer do not submit any periodical returns with the authority. The insurer do not cooperate in the inquiry conducted by the authority. The insurer indulges in unfair trade practices and manipulative practices. The insurer do not make any investment in the infrastructure or social sector. The authority has reason to believe that any claim arising on the insurer remains unpaid for three months after final judgment of the court of law. The insurer carries on business other than the business for which the registration certificate is granted. The insurer fails to comply with the directions or orders passed by the authority. The insurer fails to comply with the provisions of the Companies Act 2013 General Insurance Business Nationalization Act 1872, FAMA Act 1999, or PMLA Act 2002. The insurer fails to pay the annual fee. The insurer or promoter does not meet the fit and proper criteria. The insurer is convicted of an offence. Now, we will discuss what is the procedure for suspension of registration certificate. The authority before suspending the registration certificate shall consider the following steps. The authority will serve a notice to the applicant and give an opportunity of being heard to the insurer before suspending the registration. The authority shall then serve a show cause notice to the applicant which seeks an explanation from the insurer as to why the action shall not be taken against him. The notice shall include the charges and the reasons against which the action is sought. The insurer has a time period of 21 days for responding to the show cause notice. However, if the authority is of the opinion that it is necessary in the interest of the policy holders, then it may require the insurer to submit the response within such period as determined by the authority. The authority after receiving the reply shall have to pass the order within 30 days. If the authority does not receive any reply from the insurer against the show cause notice, in that case the authority may decide the issue ex parte. The authority after examining the application decide the matter and include the reasons for arriving at the decision. It shall also include justification for the penalty imposed on the order. The authority shall at the end send a copy of the order to the insurer within 7 days of passing the order. Now we will discuss the procedure for cancellation of registration certificate. The authority may order for the cancellation of the registration certificate after holding an inquiry in accordance with the following procedure. The authority will first appoint an inquiry officer for the purpose of holding an inquiry. The authority issues a show cause notice to the insurer at its registered place, office or principal place of business. The insurer shall submit a reply with the inquiry officer within 21 days after receiving the notice. The reply shall consist of the copies of documentary evidences and other evidences that are relied upon by the insurer. The inquiry officer must give the insurer an opportunity of being heard for enabling it to make submissions in support of its reply. The inquiry officer may ask the authority to appoint a present officer for the purpose of presenting its case. The insurer can appear before the inquiry officer either in person or through any person authorized by it. However, an advocate is not allowed to represent the insurer at the inquiry. Further, if the authority has appointed a presenting officer as advocate, then it will be lawful for the insurer to present its case. The inquiry officer shall, after considering all the facts and documentary evidences presented by the insurer, 
submit a report with the authority and recommend the penalty and the reasons for imposing such penalty. The authority, after receiving the report from the inquiry officer, shall consider it and issue a show cause notice to the insurer, which seek an explanation as to why the action shall not be taken. The insurer shall submit a reply against the show cause notice within 21 days from receiving it. The authority, after considering the reply of insurer, shall pass the order within 30 days and in case if no reply has been received by the authority within 90 days, then the authority can pass the decision ex parte. The order passed by the authority shall include the reasons for the decision and it shall include justification for the penalty imposed on that order. Now we will discuss what is the effect of suspension or cancellation of registration certificate. The effect of the suspension or cancellation of registration certificate is that, that from the date of suspension or cancellation of registration certificate, the insurer shall cease to undertake any new transaction for insurance business. However, the authority can allow the insurer to continue serving the existing policy holders. Further, it is required that the order passed by the authority shall be published in at least two daily newspapers in the area where the insurer has its principal place of business. Now we will discuss where an appeal be made against that order. The insurer agreed by the order of the authority may appeal before the Securities Appellate Tribunal under Section 110 of the Insurance Act 1938. Now we will discuss what is a voluntary surrender of registration certificate by the insurer. The insurer may voluntarily surrender the registration certificate and may request the authority to cancel the same after examining the request. The registration certificate may be surrendered voluntarily in the following cases. The business or class of business of the insurer has been transferred to other person in accordance with the order of the authority under the act. The business or class of business of the insurer has been transferred to or amalgamated with the business of any other insurer who has obtained the approval from the authority. The insurer is not able to commence its operation within the stipulated time after receiving the registration certificate. For more such updates, please subscribe to the channel.